All right, guys, I think I'm recording. Pretty sure that I am. I just went into Gideon's and got a couple cookies, but I was too, too shy to talk in there. It's still too weird for me. I hope this is working right. So now I've got some cookies. I got a, a regular chocolate chip and a cookies and cream because there's so many good choices I kind of freaked out and couldn't decide what to do. So it's a hot, awesome day here at Disney Springs. And uh, super, like not crowded, which is awesome. I'm excited to be here and see what happens with, uh, with the parks tomorrow. But I'm gonna go in here and get a little Joffrey's. A little something to pick me up. We obviously have all this sitting on the kitchen counter at home right now. But I'm not there. And I do love my Joffreys. Got a little Joffreys in, in me. The Jamaican chicken, which, which is my favorite. And I hate buying coffee in uh, out. I like making it at home, but I make an exception here at Disney. I wonder if I should put that wide angle lens on. I guess it doesn't matter. So now I think what I'm going to do, and I don't even know if I'll use this at any way, shape or form, because I'm kind of, as we know, super disorganized. But what I think I'm going to do is uh, hop on some Disney transportation. Hey, look, Hornford. So I think what I'm going to do is head back and kind of start the trip from there. So maybe this is just like a little bonus video. Go back. We're staying at All Star Sports, which I've never done. So maybe I'll go home, throw a bathing suit on, do a little walking tour, show the room, and uh, and see what that's going to be like. The room's pretty already. Spoiler alert. Look at look at this. There's just nobody here. I mean, this is fantastic, right? I mean, I want Disney to make money as a shareholder, but man, this is all right. We just had lunch. I'm down here. I'm down here with my son and three of his friends. And they are out walking around because they don't want to be near me while I'm making these dumb videos. But they, uh, they're going to go shop for a bit and then run around. I'm trying to stay out of their way but still offer some parental supervision so I'm kind of on my own and uh, so yeah let's hit the bus see what that's like so pretty cool I think this is Disney Springs art wall and I'm not sure a whole lot about it. If I find anything out, I will add it in and get rid of this and figure out why it's here, who did it, what it means, what it's going to mean. Sorry. But really beautiful. And if you don't, uh, if you're not taking the buses, you might not see it at all. So I have a thing about, I'm a little prejudice against the buses, I guess. We've always driven down here. Um, one, for cost. Two, because in recent years, we, we continued from here to Key West and then up to the mountains. So flying would be impossible. I'm trying to finish my job before I get on the bus, even though I probably don't need to. So here's what's going on. Down here with my son's friends. We're here for the next three days. We're gonna do some parks. We're staying at Pop Century, which I've never done. No, that's absolutely wrong. Staying at All Star Sports. Um, so, we always have our car and we drive to and from the parks. And so what we, but we, it's just me. What I'm gonna try to do is only do buses. I say that, but I think in the mornings we may do lifts to the parks 
just so we're there, like in plenty of time. We're at gate 19 for this bus. So I wonder like if better, like deluxe resorts have shorter walks. That's what I would do if I was putting it together. Um, rode a bus over here, it was no big deal. So we had lunch at Morton Mordo's. I've gotten Joffrey'd up properly. I'm gonna hop on this bus, ride it back to All Star Sports. Get out of this shirt because I've already spilled something on it. I don't know why I buy white things. And then uh, do a little resort tour. We're walking around, see, see what that looks like. Because uh, all we've done is we flew in, took a lift from the airport, dropped our stuff off, and headed down to Morimoto's for lunch. So join me on a little bus ride. I'll try not to be so snobby about it. And it's not a snobby thing, it's a time thing. Um, and then we'll go check out All-Star Sports where we're saving a ton of money. Here's a little weird thing I've, you know, you learn something new every day, right? But uh, no security coming in from the buses. No metal detectors. There was a guy with a dog. So the dog was sniffing things, but there was no bag check, no take things out of your pocket. I guess they figure if you're staying in a resort, you're good enough. But that's pretty wild. I wonder if you can just park and walk over to that, because that was a really nice. All right, bus ride. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. resort. I love that. I kind of want that at home. I do miss, we used to come when they, I think they gave tickets. I can't remember. I know they did at some point in time. I can't remember. We used to play uh, Deal or No Deal. Whenever it rained, that was a big family activity that I really liked. But this is nice. Looks like everything is pretty new and Bright. Not sure how many of these I'd play, you know, without some tickets or something. But I definitely would work on this Star Wars pinball machine. And a nice Marvel photo lab. So pretty cool. World of Voices. Pork sizzling noodles. So you got a, I don't know much about the food court here. Got ice cream, we got pizza, beef veggie stir fry. Looks like we got a couple, couple different options here. Ooh, a bakery, some cakes. Moana, a little stitch. Stitch seems to be figured prominently here. I'm in the surf's up room. 
donuts and cookies and pastries. This looks like kind of an Asian. They got sesame chicken, an impossible meatloaf, veggie stir fry, assorted candy and refillable mugs. Got some beer and grab and grow stuff in here. Ooh, parfait. Everybody loves a parfait, but that's the wrong part. And over here we got looks like burgers and chicken sandwiches and hot dogs and pizza. So pretty good. Might come back in a few and get my resort mug. Looks like two sides, nice big beverage station. Let's go down this side. There's your pizza pickup. Everything with a nice Mickey sports theme. Plenty of Joffrey's coffee. And the old style soda machines, which is a bummer. I wish they would have just go ahead and convert them all to those nice fancy machines where you can get vanilla high C, which is what I dream about here at Disney. This is a lot of seating. It's clean. It looks like it's been, I mean, everything seems pretty sparkly and new. It's a pretty standard food court. But it looks awesome. Yeah. So we'll walk down there a little later. This is, we're in the Surf's Up building, which I, is a preferred room. And we got two rooms, one for me and one for my son and his friends. But they, uh, they put us side by side, which is nice. I know how to get to my room because I can follow these surfboards and then take a hard left at the shark fin. Pool is closed due to some lightning. Which is a bummer. Because I think I would have liked to have taken a dip. Surf's up bathhouse. I don't know what that is. And I don't know, there's a bar over there, but I don't know if there is an outdoor... Uh, restaurant. I mean, they must have a guideline that they go by. It's funny because I think I've always kind of not wanted to stay here because to me, it just looks like they took a regular hotel and made it kind of Disney on the outside. But now that I'm here, it's pretty nice. And again, I don't know if they just had a reefer. I mean, look at that giant shark fin, dude. How can you not love that? It's so tall. It's like four stories tall. Um, But everything looks clean and fresh and it's pretty. Service has been good so far, which we love. And again, they kind of shoved the boys right beside me, which is great. Because I think they would have been in another building if it were not for that. It is weird, I guess, entering from the outside, kind of old school Florida. And it must be, you know, cheaper to do. rain over there and I guess that'd be a little garden view and then we didn't I didn't request it but I got a, a nice pool view which is awesome all right let's see our room we're in 6202 all right here we are Room 6202 at the All-Star Sports. You look right out here, and you can see the sun is out and it's raining, which is the best combination of what you can have. So looking in, you got a little, little cubby here, and I guess that becomes a nightstand. 
when this comes down. We'll show you that in a minute. The boys have dropped their stuff off, so I like a nice clean room tour, but it didn't happen this time because we popped in and popped out. So you got a nice fridge, little coffee maker with some Joffreys, drawer, ice bucket, some Gideons. No, I bought those. It didn't come with that. Uh, no overhead lights. You got a light on the wall. Uh, you got this nice little, could be desk, could be seating area. Here's the bed. Uh, kind of typical fare. I really love the headboard. Um, I like old Mickey and having the gang up there is pretty nice. Another board on there. Uh, looks like outlets. I mean, this, this room looks like it's been redone recently. Uh, everything looks very crisp and new. Uh, I haven't looked in there, but I assume they're just drawers and maybe a Gideon's Bible to go with my Gideon's cookies. Um, nice TV. Obviously, you could have a connecting room if you wanted. Some hooks. Uh, you got a sliding door, which I don't... I'm not a huge fan of. I mean, I don't mind this one, but I like a, I like a little more privacy when I'm indisposed. Uh, so you got kind of a locker style closet, some shelves, lots of storage in here. Um, a nice sink, very beautiful lighted mirror. I kind of like this, it's lit on the sides, inside the wood instead of behind the mirror. Hey, you know. Um, and the bathroom is, you know, beautiful, but normal, you know. It's toilet and towels and got your, your H2O and, uh, you know, set up your, your clothesline there. So this is, you know, this is a nice room. Here, let's take a look. I'm going to move the stuff out of the way and then I will, uh, I'll take down the bed and you can see it. So the boys are, boys are over at Disney Springs. Um, we did this, uh, you know, typically, I guess we stayed kind of at, at uh, deluxe resorts. Um, not to be completely, you know, like we, I mean, we can stay other places. I just happen to like the deluxe resorts. I love the theming. But again, I was saying it on the way up the stairs, this is really nice. I mean, this is a smaller room comparatively. So normally I feel like you would have some space and the bed would be more here. And then you'd have kind of the bathroom and other stuff going out that way, which you don't, don't get here, but at a fraction of the price. I mean, I think, you know, we've paid as much as, you know, maybe 700, $600 a night, the contemporary or at the um, Polynesian. And this was with my annual pass holders discount, uh, 130 bucks. Maybe 135. But then this folds down. And you got a nice bed there. You know, it definitely, if you left it down the whole time, it would definitely take up a lot of, of your room space. But we are, we are, I love that headboard. I mean, that's nice. That's really cool. So honestly, for now, it's just me in here. And, uh, and we'll see what the boys do later. Um, they're all four planning on sleeping in the other room, but now that they're right next door, you know, maybe they will, uh, maybe Seamus will come over here and crash or whatever. At any rate, uh, yeah, so that's the room. I like it. I would definitely stay here again for $130. It's a little maybe inconvenient, right? Like it's bus rides getting some places. If I have my car, it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, but no Skyliner, no monorail, no boats, just the buses. But I mean, I took the bus from Disney Springs and I think that was like 15 minutes. So not a bad deal at all. So this is really nice. So as soon as the, the sunshiny rain stops, then we'll, uh, we'll head out and take a look at the grounds. All right, I got the old action camera out. Ooh, it's dark. Heading down to the pool. And then uh, I guess before I head over to Disney Springs for the drone show, then I'll, uh, I'll do a little property tour. Or maybe really early in the morning when no one's out and people aren't looking at me weird as I'm talking and walking around. Because I still get nervous about it. I know the audio is not as good here, but that's the life, man, when you want to have these, these cameras. Let's take a look at the pool. Shark fin, giant shark fin. 
Towels. I saw the guys were over here. I don't know what that is. Lifeguard stand. It's pretty. There's my shark tower. Look at all the shells. Kitty pool. That would make a great place for a hot tub. And there's the boys. I think this is a nice big pool that uh, is not very crowded. And that's a good time because that's what I always feel like with pools. The difference between a uh, deluxe resort and a modern resort is the amount of people in the pool and apparently hot tubs. Hot tubs are important. But this is all right. Still very old Florida. Definitely the all star. Chairs. I mean, this thing's huge and it's warm. I don't like it. Alright, the boys are boys are in there wrestling. They've got a pretty organized game going. Alright, alright, since I'm over here, curious about what this, it looks like the laundry area. Alright. A little laundry. Let's walk this way. Although I'm not sure how much I want to do with this because I know the audio is not as good and then I feel like I just have to do it all over again. I'm not sure how I'd feel staying like on the first floor by the pool. Convenient. Another shark fin. All the all the surfs up buildings surrounding the pool. But I think this place is like massive. Like I think there's a lot going on here. And I think it goes off deep, deep, deep. So I think what maybe tomorrow morning when I go get coffee then I'll uh, I'll get up and do a a full tour. But again, so far, you know, this is really nice. And uh, you know, again, $135 a night with my AP discount. So I was, I think, 35% maybe. Yeah, this goes on. This will need a full walking tour, but I think I'll do it with with the other camera and a little better microphone.
They've got some nice decorations. Again, I realize without the railings and the surfboards, it would just be a standard old Florida hotel. But the landscaping and some larger than life stuff makes it a little better. All right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start this way. So here is the pool. Our room is right up there behind that surfboard. So let's walk back towards the giant star. Lots of folks in the pool today, but still not crazy crowded, which is nice because one thing, this is the first value resort I've ever stayed in. And again, not to be snotty, uh, I just like the locations and some of the things that you get with a deluxe or even a moderate resort. The biggest difference is no hot tub, right? And even in the summer at night, I like a hot tub and my wife does too. That all being said, this is nice and I like it here. So, starting over here, back towards the lobby, you've got your restaurant. We are in a preferred room, Surf's Up. So let's take a little walk over this way towards these rooms. We'll get a full little grounds tour. Well, it looks like that queen won. I'd say she took down, I guess it's a queen, or maybe it's a king, I can't tell from these pieces. But that piece is the only one remaining. So here we got, obviously, football room. And there's a football field, which is interesting, because I'm surprised that the the kids have not come over here and hung out. But this looks pretty cool. Tons of space for the kids to jump and play, run. And I'll have to look, I'll put it down below, but I guess there are different room types here, which is kind of why we've never stayed here because there's five of us. And so I'm all about saving some money, but every time we looked at like here or Art of Animation, we had to get a suite and you add another room on, now you're at the same price as a moderate, if not a deluxe, so why not just stay somewhere else was our thought process. So we've gone through football. I assume we got another little quiet pool over here. Some grandstands that I think would be difficult to get to. I mean, that's a decent pool. It's actually, it's kind of cool, man, because it really kind of seems like old Florida to me. Like almost like a roadside attraction kind of deal. Even got some Louisville Slugger branding. Look how cool those lights are. Look like baseball lights. No score. Got another laundry room over here. You can walk right through that Coca-Cola cup. Visitors, home teams over there. I've, I have zero idea where I'm going. I'm just following past. And then uh, 
And then I gotta catch a bus. I guess just a Magic Kingdom, huh? Do a little monorail riding. I don't know how much I'll leave into this. Maybe I'll speed it up. I hate talking in front of people. You look such a nerd. Because I am. Uh, all right, so back side of back side of football here. Let's just shoot through this. All right, it goes way over there. That might be a different resort. Hello. Hello. All right, so you got a wing over there. We're back to the front. Let's go down this way. I mean, this is beautifully landscaped. I mean, God bless Florida, right? Because everything just grows here. Probably have to do more chopping down than growing up. Got a nice little playground here. So a couple things I have noticed is that when you go to get a bus, like it's always the furthest one away. Like when you leave, we were leaving Epcot today, you know, Polynesian's like number five or something. So we were 14, but I'm okay with that, right? Because I feel like if you pay more, you should get more. I, I like a meritocracy. Uh, I paid, I mean, I've paid as much as six or $700 a night for a room somewhere. And here was only 135. I think this is the back of my building. So let's zip through here. So you got tennis rackets over here. Ooh. Giant chair for keeping scores so Mac and Roe can yell at everybody. Huey, Dewey, and Louie are confused. And Donald's down there, probably yelling at them for playing baseball. So, I mean, again, look, it's just a regular hotel that they've added some stuff on. And I assume the construction cost must be astronomically cheaper than making something like the Polynesian or the Contemporary, which I don't even know if you could do anymore. I will say, uh, unpopular opinion, if anyone's watching this, I don't love the Riviera. I think it's a beautiful hotel, but my oldest kid said, and they're right, it is a regular hotel with a better awning, right? So... I, it's gorgeous inside. I don't like that the lobby's really small. I like these grand lobbies that we have at, at some of these, which are like Wilderness Lodge, obviously is spectacular, but just kind of okay, right? Uh, we stayed there. Uh, I would stay there again if it was a good deal. I didn't hate it, but wasn't my favorite. And then down here, basketball. Giant hoop, which might be very difficult to get uh, a basketball in. So I'll have to look to see. Well, let's walk down here a little bit. Good, how are you doing? Yeah, so this is fun. I was curious to see if there was another quiet pool down here. Wonder how that looks on video. So I think the basketball still goes down there. I've only seen two pools. which is probably fine, because that pool is pretty big. But again, that's what, uh, that's what I mean. You get 
a lot of people in, uh, in the pool at one time. So all these places using the big pool could be a lot. Standing here with my old pal Mickey. I don't know if you can tell. I'll see if the angle, but there's a little hidden Mickey in the ground there. Almost looks like my head. It's a Mickey. Pretty cool, right? All right, so that's kind of the whole place. I think that gives you a good idea of what uh, what the property looks like. We'll walk up and finish up in the lobby, and then I'm heading over to the Polynesian. But I'm gonna finish this up right here with my thoughts I would definitely stay here again. Would I do it for our big family trip? No. I think I like the deluxe. I like the two extra hours and it's worth me splurging for that. However, as I've started coming down here once a month or so, uh, I'll, I would stay here over like the Hilton, which I love and that Wyndham, which I think is great. We're staying there next month, but this is better. Uh, all things being equal, price being equal. I think the Wyndham can be a little less. Like I've only paid like $90 plus the resort fee though. And I don't know. I had to add on two, I had to add on a night because I screwed up and forgot. For some reason, I don't know, it doesn't matter. I made a mistake. I only booked, I needed the rooms till Saturday, I booked until Friday. Um, and that was, so it was $200 with tax. Um, so, 135 was obviously much better with my pass order discount. Um, and I may call them and see if I can figure out how to get that back down to what I paid. But for 150 a night, two, even maybe close to 200, I would stay here again. Because if we fly down uh, the transportation, even though I've always kind of pushed off the buses, I, I kind of like it. It's been really easy. Again, not crazy crowded, so we haven't had to wait for buses. Um, but it's been it's been awesome. So no no lifts that I've taken. Uh, we took one this morning and we'll probably will take one in the morning again. So, you know, a $9 lift plus $5 tip um, to get to and from is pretty easy to be there, you know, at rope drop in the morning. But, uh, yeah, it's easier, easier in the window. I like it. So I definitely, definitely, definitely will search here first for these short trips because it's just so much easier for me to get around and, you know, it actually saves me a lot of money. If I'm paying the same price for both hotels, we got to add in the lifts. No brainer. All right, let's go check out the lobby. I'll also say that the service has been really, really good here. Great staff, great um, attention to our rooms. The management's been great. I mean, honestly, better than the Polynesian we had twice last year. So, here's the lobby. You know, is it as impressive as walking in as some of the other things? No, but I've never seen this before. Look, look here. So a little magic band, let's get done. I gotta look over there. Hey, there he is. Three, two, one. And there you go. Now I got a little picture of me. Look, I'm on Pat and Donald's head. Oh, wait, there's another one. I didn't know there's two. Should I do another one? How about one of these? So stupid. Oh, there he goes. That's so cool. Oh, and there's our Magic Kingdom bus. Yes, yes, yes. 